Today we deal with the program when a um, constitutional review committee discussion. When I see us, see ah. Well, I get with me here in the studio, Dr. Obaka Kagbo, when are the chairman committee on local government CRC. And also today, me when they come with the program for Namina Mari Marike Kanu. Well, the discussion will go based today upon the updates on the activities of the committee and also the importance of including local governments and the civil service in the proposed new constitution. Doctor, welcome to CRC. We want I want to tell Fambulem what are the latest developments as far as the Cultural and Review Committee is concerned. Well, um, thank you very much. You're uh, I'm glad you want to invite me this morning for let I come talk small about the committee. Although I would say I don't get the competence because me not to the chairman for the CRC. But I go tell you say since where the CRC come into being. It don't they go all out for ensure say them sort of do them work. First of all, then make sure say the administrative structure within the CRC self, then try for create Now for that then create the uh, committees then. You get committees then way sort of um, responsible for all aspects of the constitution and more. And then com then committees then they now they're responsible for make sure say then frame questions them where then go use them question there for go ask the people them solicit their aspirations as a waiting they want to see for a new constitution you get committee on the executive you get judiciary you get on extractives you get so we own a local government and other ancillary bodies so we now for local government and also on this so now we don't begin they go around freetown talk to them sort of institutions them we they ask them, what in the one see inside the constitution? We as local government, we don't do so in our prisons last week. Okay, um, doctor, well, what make you feel, to, feel say important to make the include the local government and the civil service in this proposed new constitution? What do you mean the lapses them? What do you see to say um, the local government and also the civil service go want to make them involved within this new proposed constitution? Well, what are the issues they're playing? Yeah, well, well, well first of with? all, First of all, let me look what are the importance of local government. You see, you say Salongo boast for say get local government as far back as in 1946, where the colonial government established uh, the councils. But if I not for say we can get independence, well, because of one problem or the other, we border around corruption. You find out for say the first government of Samantin Magai a sort of a uh, suspender. Where Sir Albert Self come, he suspend them back. Um, after we then come, make them briefly in suspend them back in 64. Then way, of course, the APC government come back, they institute a committee where look into the existence, whether local government necessary or not. Yes, the committee say yes, it's necessary, as much as it getting problems. But, but, but by 1972, uh, the APC government automatically take away the elective aspect of um, these local councils, the form management bodies. So if you found out for say from 1972 up to 2004, where in fact the uh, local government act been come, we know we get local councils, and people then say that also sort of impact upon the war. It contribute to the war because you know we get no councils them upline. When they get 80 percent of the people, we go be responsible for ensure say service delivery day or that in day. So now with 2004 and constitution that have been 1991. Local government not being there inside the constitution. So now, where would they get this review so if for day inside the constitution? Okay, now so now that would they bring and come, then it, because of the importance, okay. because it helps democracy. Okay. Yes, you want to talk? <laughs> yes, so um, that is guy for talk say now during this um, constitutional review process, <laughs> people, um, community members they advocate say the local government for day inside the constitution. Yeah, you no, know, we put them say now one. Topic one thematic issue for this constitution, but now the people and they decide. Okay. I want to make them categorically clear say, not to we the 80 man committee they decide the constitution. Yes. Now, the people their aspirations, we they go get, we collect them, we codify them, we discuss them and see which one we go get for include. So, we now, as local government, we say local government is important. Okay. The civil service is important. Why? Civil service now in the interpret government policy. Yeah. 
So if you know, if you know they well, the government policy no come on fine. Government will not go succeed. So we want for the government to succeed. Therefore, civil service forget a portion of the constitution. Where, for example, an important aspect will say, therefore they are above politics. Yeah. yeah? So they can ask for them, they don't get to get for determinant. The people them. But they pass off a questionnaire for say whether civil servant for be a, a, a partisan or not. You understand? So we get for do all the things. So now we walk around there, this term as the committee day, for let we make sure say local government and other ancillary bodies, like a civil service, these are the constitution. And not to buckle things for day, because you'll get forget the whole act. The acting will go into detail. But this one here, now for just let it day, let we know, say yes, local government, they are the constitution. Then about civil uh, service, they are the constitution. Okay, doctor, um, this question here, yeah, I understand, say, when I get varieties of questions inside here. Yes. Now, with my questions, they want to ask the committee members them or the uh, Sierraleans them with regards to local governments. Which one the question we wanna ask them we go make them able give give una their own uh, uh, um, contribution in order to make sure say the local governments be included in this um, uh, proposed constitution. Well well first of all again you know say inside the local government setup uh, you get the chiefs them now the chief from councils them then they now the chief of administration they get the 19 local councils then they but inside the same uh, sort of a boundary, you get them two tier. You get council, you get the chiefs them. So now we ask the question: Do you go want for let the chief then get legislative powers? We ask that question there. Then we ask say, what you would like for let them go reform the council of uh, chiefs? We ask that question there. Then we ask again: Should local traditional leaders be entrusted with judicial powers? If so, which body assumes responsibility for supervision? Because I want you not want. Conflict for day yeah. inside that thing day. Exactly. So if like, the councils them forget legislative powers and power for development, let it day succeed leader they put on day. Then the chief then get on your own side. If now house of chiefs for create, we go able recommend to government. Then go sit at their own council. They recommend to government on state matters. If now one want, then go decide on our day. But don't want a conflict like conflict for let like, you get the chief and the sort of a council then day at loggerheads. And people you know they talk say there is uh, a tendency towards that conflict day. Then we ask again, say, um the civil service. We say, um, how about the human resource deficiency? Because we say civil service, now them get for facilitate government process. But if I'm not for say, but putting no, no day, the human resource deficiency, like training, and uh, of course you you know the big one, the the the, the salaries. You know, all, all anything there. So we get for ask the people, like, what do they think about that? So if people say for increase or for do this, we go put out. Then again, we say uh, with staff retention policies in crisis. For example, if one of us in a civil service, man in ATD, you don't go to the for one, two months, or two years, you don't go say, then they pay, you know, more money. Then we also ask again, um, how we go able, sort of uh, determine, order for be promoted or not what are the basis what are the criteria you know for le, you you know then how government go able to improve the conditions of the worker the way they work in the civil service then of course retirement we we'll talk about retirement all you know say whether if for the at the 60 years or if we go 65 as the case may be so then they will ask come back then of course the civil service rules and regulation we need for the review them. You know, all and we ask, we ask them. Then, of course, when we come to the councils now, we sort of talk about the powers of the councils. You understand? But, but like any other constitution, not to everything get for day day. Because if you say you want to put all what your money talk, you know we will read them. Yeah. So we will take the most important aspect of, um, you know, local governance and civil service. You know, that then go sort of be factored. When the people don't talk, we are just facilitators, not only they determine the constitution, now the people they determine the constitution because the constitution for come up from the people. We just a facilitate for ensure say it go the right way. Okay, I'm doctor. Well, this back nine uh, other people are as all man they give you view. Yes. May um, include every stakeholder in the community. Yes. Even to the grassroots level. Yes. The um vision and vary. Yes. The um inputs and vary. Yes. Well, I wanna be able to determine among them them constitution whether they make which one are the important one or which one we know we get less uh, um, um, well, well, uh, in the constitution. Yes, well all the committees and get the get for go out. Sooner or later we're all gonna go up line just now 
for they go solicit the aspirations of the people, they go ask them what they want. When can we codify, we they put together, all LinkedIn and they, we they put them together, you know, for make sure, say, we get all, that we discuss them. We see the variables there, waiting, get for sort of uh, be suit because they go don't talk them. Um, at times, somebody go talk something on an informed sort of platform. So we were informed, go know how we they fit them in. Now, for that TV self, the, 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 the link English chef will get for deep on the constitution. It will be very, very simple. You know, get difficult legal terminology them so that it will be a, 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 a people's friendly yeah. constitution. So, what don't codify now? We bring account, we, we make the first draft. That draft day now, we the discuss and back where, you know, say, we care for send and go parliament. And parliament, if we ratify them, they go from the referendum. Then down they becomes, you know, law after a common referendum. You forget the sort of uh, the people's um, blessing again. You understand? So, it's not easy. We get for go there, then get for tell we. And as I say, we not get for put anything there where the people not talk. Now, what the people they want, now we they put inside the constitution. You understand? Okay. Uh -huh. So, we they, we they prioritize them. That means we put them in terms of scale. We, we will not just take all things where, you know, people they say we just jump them. Or as I say, you know, we will not get a fine constitution. It will be too big. We want a constitution where, where, where concise, where very, where, where they at the point. Okay. Yeah. Well, fam, we really listen. And this now, constitution like review committee discussion, the CICR. And I get to be Dr. Abaka Kabu, we are the chairman, committee on local government, CRC. The e students will discuss on our updates on the activities of the committee and also the importance of including local government and the civil service in the proposed new constitution. Me where the people welcome so now, me na my madike can. Well, Dr. What are this guy will say? Um this um process here, as we understand say every social union for take part. Yes. We get people at the interior. Yes. We get people at the grassroots level. Yes. How would they say we able to come on board? For many say give their own contribution. Then then get their own issue, then get their own um, 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 side where they affect them yes. in terms of governance and in terms of democracy. Yes. So how are we able to involve people there within the suburb, within at least within the, the rural part of the country, we have to take active part in this um, 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 review process. We they go meet them and we they get them through um, meetings them. We we'll call public meetings them. You know, where we call them in terms of town hall meetings, we put the issue, we discuss the issue, we, we, we sensitize them, then we come out with what they actually want for let we include in its proposed constitution. So we go meet them, even at the grassroots level. Now for that, we deal with also organizations, CBOs, community-based organizations, so that we'll get the grassroots, we'll get the farmer. The farmer where they, where not a big talk, no other language, passing your language. Now for that, we they go, we they talk the language where people they understand, now the respective communities them, so that the message will go across, then they will be able to sort of contribute meaningfully into the constitutional process. Because constitutional making or constitutional review, now the people in business, not to government business as a, a, a particular department. Now the people them, we constitute the sovereign, we now them, we for listen to, we now them for decide, what in the future laws of the country in terms of the constitution, what are the fundamental law of the land for be? Because it therefore can regulate, you know, we so much that um, you don't go and say, I'm not being daily. All man for daily. Therefore, we they go meet them as you ask the question. Then go participate, therefore participate. We they go meet them, not in place. Definitely, we they go meet them. Okay. And, well, and, and they come very soon. Very soon. How soon? How soon, Doctor? Uh, no, very soon, in terms of uh, weeks, in terms of days and weeks, you okay. know. You know. So all you answer now all the different committees, some committees and the, uh, the yes, and they go the, they go out. Of course, yes. Different. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, in case this um um, um proposed um and constitution mm -hmm. possibly they go on, majority of which people then, then talk or what they say, um then then okay then tend for reject the entire questionnaire or the question you wanna ask. What am I going to do then? No, what you, what you mean certain go reject? Well, if they, like they say, they're not in favor of the question, they want to ask. Or no, well, they're not no. Able. well, then go, then go tell me what they want. We go tell them, say, here is Sierra Leone. After 1991, it don't do for let get a review of the Constitution. So now, Bakuti may not pass in 1991. We're not there inside the Constitution. Say, take environment. Say, take the extractive. 
industry with minerals in. Then they not you know. So we need for put in there. So they must stay where they go get for put. They must stay where they go get for talk. If we think we suggest, then no uh, one time let them tell we what they want. We go fat factor them inside. Now they make the constitution. Not to we they make the constitution. So now, who stage now where this process they on? Because the stage now where it they where they solicit the aspirations of the people. We don't begin ask ask groups. Now we don't start with uh, MDAs in Freetown. As I tell you last week, we been there with the prisons department. Then we get for go see the police as well very soon. We as local government. Then other committees that don't see other various. They don't go even see state house. The executive, you know, they don't go see. They don't go to state house. So we they do them at the MDA. So now part of the work don't start so. You understand? So after this process now, bam, we we go offline and we do it again simultaneously. You know, for say we they do something there. You know, so man they boat today. They don't want the McKinney. They don't want go the bond. You know, they don't want the other go the Bujeu and Kabbalah as the case may be. But um, doctor, you don't feel to say this constitution. But who say you know we don't ever read them. Not because you are the educated one there. They don't ever lay hands on them. Yes. They don't ever read them. Okay. They don't know what's in the inside. Yes, you. well, now for that. Okay, let me say about the one on the back, we don't, we don't, we don't go to school better. Yes. So, how are we able to make them understand the thing they were inside this constitution? Yeah. We're able to say, maybe if they affect them, but they don't be no say that they're right for change, then thing in there. Yeah. You see, because the condition is a bulky. Thank you very much. Yeah, you well, see? Um, you see, that aspect they. For let people understand waiting in at the present constitution. Because when people understand waiting at the present constitution, then they're able to make meaningful contribution to the proposed review and the review one they make. We as a commission, me and I also the chairman for National Commission for Democracy, we don't get a regional uh, sort of meetings then where we meet people then, you know, on this constitution. Then again, we don't try to abridge the constitution, you know, where they're out in terms of print. Then, of course, you see the CRC, they even give the constitutions, you know, to people then, for letting them read them. Then we, they translate the constitution into Mende, Timni, Limba, Creole, and Kono, for let people themselves understand them. Then Una, as SLBC, Una gets the sort of uh, 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 other task for do waiting the National Commission for Democracy don't do in terms of thematic issue, for now to put them into videos, you know, so that people can go see. Because not to, not to pass your land book before you wait to understand. No. You can see something safe that you understand. Yeah. So you find out for say, this wire, it helps. So we're not going to make them video here. Then they are, people will see them. We are then town all there, we display them, people them. Then we they go to meet the people back with the talk, in the language, as to wait at the constitution, because I tell you, we don't abridge the constitution. The only thing no more now, now for that we pray, let we get good donors that we go make, let we print almost 20,000, 30,000 copies. But a day, a day for let them know, because it's necessary. They were done all meetings there now, before now, you know, like we match, we get regional meetings them where they go tell the people them about the importance of taking part in uh, reviewing the constitution. And again, we tell them the areas them where, of course, the margin areas them where will be very good way, then will contribute, you know, to the constitution. So that aspect there, the CRC, they do a very good job, a very good job for letting people understand the present constitution. And that is being made possible by a project where UNDP, they support. UNDP, they support uh, CSOs for let they make sure, say, the people they understand the constitution and know it exactly for do when the committee go go meet and ask and say, what do you want for C that the new proposed constitution? Okay, um, thank you very much. Well, we don't say in any process or in any project, you must get um, different stages. So how you as a and chairman for the local um, government committee, how this process look like? How, 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 how it sound like? The, the process yeah, is very good. Process. But waiting me one sort of appeal, like what I said so now, that members of the 80-man committee let them put more effort for make sure say then come to meetings they make sure say we speed up you know because change go only come when we now the 80 man committee we sort of be more proactive so if we're more proactive you know it will help the process but the process they go on fine 
We don't get to regular meetings then. We don't get, of course, we don't get a, a, a news sort of a, a, a bulletin where they come out, you know. Then, of course, we discuss the nitty gritties them, you know, we pertain to the exercise. So I feel, say, to me, the committees them, they do well. Okay, Doc, you know, they both say the committees they do well. Yes, yes. But there must be some challenges. Yeah, the challenges, the perhaps, um, we say the resources that they come on time. Resources. Like like any other like any other sort of um, MDAs in terms of receiving resources on time. Go come oh, but they tell you what you need for late come before come. And time is of the essence because we get them quick, you able to do things quick. But we delay small, then the work will delay small. You know, but we there on course. What about the human resource power? How human resource power yeah. go. The secretary is very sort of uh, well capacitated. So like. I you see this process, and I will meet up the time frame where at least and the committee don't set to make sure say everything from the drafting to the referendum is in meet up to the exact time. One well, one one. well, I feel so with a try, but if we're not able to reach the time, then anything you know cast on stone, it could be extended if it becomes possible, you know, necessary. Okay, Doc, and like how the um, the local government committee, how they relate, what's in our, our main area of concentration, what's not the main thing we they look at basically in order to make sure, say, at least on our accent question to commit, I mean to committee members then, for making them able to contribute tremendously for make sure say, the local governments be effective as far as. Um, yeah, yeah, we, 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 we don't, we all manner, we don't explain, say, local government is very necessary. Yeah. Because local government, it they take good governance to the people, to the grassroots level. Local governance, it they sort of ensure efficient and effective service delivery. Local government, now the lowest tier of governance, where they meet the grassroots person, it they make you as a people for belong to a particular sort of entity, what they call local government, where they participate. So they bring participation. And you know, participation is an important aspect of uh, good governance. Because if you don't participate, why somebody will make decision on your behalf? It is deemed that you should participate, and from you, the decision will come. Then, ownership day. Then you don't show for say, now we now all get them. You go guard them, save guard them for their nothing or do them. So, go don't know so important. Now, the community, we even go into asking the question, say, local government elections, if it will be on a party basis or non-party basis. The reason why we ask that question, so, because the tendency day for the people them sort of frown at uh, local government just because it is on a party basis. But now, because well now, the way we do things now, it is on a party basis. So how that go affect what? Participation. Well, now the key aspect in terms of local governance. Then again, local governance, the resources. You know, say, force, even they under donor funding. Today, now government, they fund them. Almost uh, uh, 70 to 80 percent. And government get a lot of other sort of uh, 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 priorities then. Where it get for sort of year after, 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 after. So if I not for say, the resources at the disposal of government is so scarce. How we for do for get more revenue? Revenue is very important. So again, with the factor, how for get revenue? We go for discuss them. What you for do? Taxes, of course. But how much people they pay taxes? There was a time I go na uh, Mongo Bendugu. You know, people then they pay the tax. I think I be five five leons. People not be able to pay that money. Then. You understand? So if I don't say the people are poor so much, so we they ask that question they again. Then again, we they sort of talk about um, how local governance not for be politicized. All thing they do na politics because politics na the affairs of a people towards attaining the needs. But it depends if you make a parochial in terms of you make them just for one section, they don't politicize them. So we they say. How we go able to avoid their aspect of politicizing the uh, councils? You understand? And again, we we talk about how for improve service delivery. But one of the most important aspect of local government now for ensure say service delivery effective, health, education, all the basic needs facilities them because eighty percent of the people they under they they, they, they they suffer. So we need for ensure service delivery. Now for that, in fact, local government be be be, be first, first and foremost. So we ask the question: How go do one? 
But all they all revolve around availability of resources. So all they want in day a day. And now for re uh, revenue collection, if we're able to increase revenue, then we can do it. If we're able to increase the revenue of the local councils, then the antique council will benefit. But someday now, they don't get luck for get any multinationals in the area, like London Mining, African Minerals, or Rutai, you know, so not get none of them thing that they will then go say they go able to ask them for help. So in this case, we ask again, the money will they collect? The for share them equally, or the for share them according to how you, how you get around? You understand? So all the questions that then they will get for we'll ask the people then, in the languages the way they understand, so that we'll get exactly what they mean. Then with brain and tongue, we can sort of uh, codify them and make sure so we get sense out of them and see how we can make a draft. Okay, thank you very much. Well, family, if they listen to the program, this is a constitutional review committee discussion where now CRCR. Um, I get with me today at the studio, Dr. Abaka Kabo, in the chairman committee on local government, CRC. Me where they call the program to now, me and my name is Kano. Well, today we discussion on the based on, on the updates on the activities of the committee and also the importance of including local government and the civil service in the proposed new constitution. Okay, um, doctor, um, now that we this level, I don't say you didn't at the local um, government uh, committee, but you must know some other things that we involved in the other subcommittees, eh? like um, this area of um, this mining. What is the thing that we involve? Now they we, we have to say the mining companies are not be able to adhere to where um, people are within the community sign the mine, the ground. What is the question I want to ask? The different question because from where they watch the program, one know the other question that we vary around this uh, review process. Well, you see, yes, I know they are that committee there, but I think say I go try for extend my thinking for see what possibly then go ask. Do you want a new thing? Now we say Sierra Leone at the land of iron and diamond, etc., etc. No, so we say down they forgive the resources where we for take run with government. Not so, so now I think that the first question we go ask: Salon they get enough money from you know the extractives there? Yeah? Down the one question. Then they, will they get more money from this extractive? extractive? Then the second one: their extractives there. Yeah? then they sort of uh, go in accordance with the stipulated law, rules and regulations, even in terms of the environment, you understand? Mm -hmm. Because the environment is very important. Because now they see people, um, uh, you know, very recently in the news yesterday, at least open they say they for pay for their crops because uh, one particular mining company, Mekle Water, sort of uh, destroyed and crops them. So man, in the dig, out in the dig, so they left the place with water, and they full up, where water they full up, in the bus, we go down the down the uh, uh, river, and they kill people them. All the things they did. Then uh, the, the corporate social responsibility of the mining company. They do one well. Then, if we want ownership, Sierra Leone, but on the I not go far with them because me, I not go sort of try for let we ask for more where we not go able sort of uh, get that thing they already ask for. As this will be moderate for now, but if it will be sort of gradual process, we will get ownership in the immediate future. But now we will try to bring in extractives and come for can help. And if they come for help, another question we we'll ask them. Then they pay fine with people learn. For example, people learn about the land. When they go take, like, uh, the one day when they go take for plant sugar cane, will they read some hmm, 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 day? Whether if they pay the fine. So we have to ask them question they all. You know, but the mining sort of uh, aspect is that, uh, see, I don't forget sort of um, control. and will forget enough revenue for ensure for, say, um, we use them. Because don't forget, so, even governance, good governance, in, in sort of foundation, not by economic development. Now for that, me always work at the talk, and this is Sierra Leone for try for come out from dependency. Since independence, Sierra Leone, whenever making budget, it can depend heavily upon donor funding. But we tell God thank you, comparatively recently, we, re, we realize say, that dependency, they, they reduce, but still it is. So we want for that, at least they reduce to a particular stage when you go impact upon the economy negatively. Because when you stretch the economy, then you go able to sort of see how governance they. If government one sort of uh, 
capacitate, you know, the governance institutions then, now money you need. So who said we get this money? Now from in minerals. You understand? So if I get enough, if I go all out for get enough, so that um, you go able to run the government, because government not a pick in play. You say, we then say, you know, they run government where you all some rose in you and they pray. No, now, now the reality they go with. So that question where we have to come up and extract it, and also go bother around the revenue, whether we get enough, whether corporate social responsibility, the day. Although they are the uh, uh, sum of and they are the uh, companies act, you know, but um, and the minerals act, you know, but um, you know, enough. We want them um, as a new thing, let it come, just like environment, so that we get something about environment. We go to act, say, let people then um, make sure, say, then protect the environment. You understand? So the only thing they get for come, all the new thing they way, the 1991 constitutional no factor. But go back with it. All get for come out, all get questioned. And all day in a separate committees, them we go for asking questions here so that we, we address them and see what will happen when they propose review constitution. Okay, um, Doc Mige wants to say, uh, eager for like, uh, understand say in the area of the youth youth issues, yeah, the youth and the advocates for lay them the youth the age of the president of, of, of youth that the country mm -hmm. don't even for uh, someone to become president and, and the, the youth and the advocates say if for coming to 35 years yeah. so which are the question i want to ask around that area there well now the same thing what you talk so now we ask say waiting now you're thinking for the reduction of the age of uh, the candidate for presidency yes now that we ask then of course the youth similarly because now now from 15 to 35 yeah. right uh, you some man they might reason to 30 or even for say to 27 15 to 27 years you understand but 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 this is one thing again um as i say we need for ask the, the, the questions them then for let the people they answer where they answer we go codify them but we not get uh, we for be value free what they go there with open hearts yeah, so, so, but um, definitely, like how you put on so, we ask you, if you, 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 are, you agree, say, in fact, I'm not going to say we agree, say, we will say, what do you think, say, for let them reduce the presidential candidate in age from 40 to 35? Or as the case may be for the youth, from, say, 15, say, to 30? Okay, well, yeah. thank you very much, Doc. Well, from William, they listen. This is uh, the program when a uh, constitutional review committee discussion as uh, CSCR. And we've been at the studio now, uh, being Dr. Abaka Kabo, the chairman for the committee on local government, CRC. Well, now, so we go down this discussion for today. So, say next week, I tell you, thank you to Dr. Kabo and all on our way take part. We listen to the program. Me and Mary Madeke can't be the program. So, now. thank you very much, Dr. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sierra Leone is full of talented people, musicians, footballers, actors, actresses, film writers, producers and directors. They have all played their own part in the development of arts and culture in Sierra Leone. Parade as he goes in depth in your star's life. Salon Star Parade is on every Friday at 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. and repeated Wednesdays at 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. on SLBC. At SLBC, we go beyond ethnicity and ethnic boundaries. We seek the news and the stories from ethnic communities and give them a national flavor. We give voice to the voiceless and allow all civilians to comment on our stories. At SLBC, we believe that all ethnic stories are civilian stories. SLBC, your voice, my voice. Sierra Leone is always fondly remembered as the image of a lion. Whether one looks at the sprawling hills or the spreading rivers, Sierra Leone stretches as a pride of lions. Many Sierra Leoneans don't remember 
when they last saw a lion. However, that did not stop Pedro de Sintra, a young Portuguese discoverer, from naming this great country Sierra Leone. From 1462, when Sierra Leone was named by de Sintra to the years of slavery and the years of freedom, Sierra Leone has come a long way to becoming a diversified and unified country. Coastal Sierra Leone has always attracted attention from neighbors near and far away. The country's river Rukel, running into the great Atlantic Ocean, has always opened its doors to every human civilization for as long as it has existed. Known as the Athens of West Africa, Sierra Leone has built a name for itself upon a solid educational foundation with colonial experimental institutions such as the Grammar School, Aniwash Memorial School and Furabi College, institutions which led the All Africa Way for quality education for people of African origin. Sierra Leone, a country of several pictures of courageous battles, of slavery and of colonialism, of independence and of self-rule, of civil war and of activism, of blood diamonds and of peace diamonds. Sierra Leone has emerged as a country, a concept and a conscience. Sierra Leone, the beautiful diamond of Africa. Anybody, I no want this kind thing happen to anybody. So do ya, I beg. Yeah, I no been there in a village where me picking sick. Then been the gear I'm continuing but he no feel better at all. After one week, me wef self begin get one body. The nurse in a village, he am medicine, but he self no feel better. We been feel say na one body no more. But not to be that at all. I hear you, but the Ebola sick. And where I learn but how the sick can catch people and waiting he can do them one them we can get them. I remember me wef and me picking. Ebola and kill them. So, for me we tap this sick, well body people them go na we village and talk to me but how the Ebola sick they and waiting for do for me we tap the sick. For tap Ebola, we know for eat bush meat. He like na you kill a moon. Or you go meet in that one. No eat it where bats or other animal long eat and left where. If you old sick person, you for what you and find one. If you person get past mark one body, he get half of cocoa and body, he de vomit and toilet plenty. Do ya call well body work man one ten. If Ebola kill you person, no what's the dead body, call well body work man then na then go sabi. How for beg that person? Sometimes there, where the sick don't bad off, blood can come out all side and the person. We listen to all waiting and tell we, and we be able for tap Ebola. Not to Congo, sir. If you know anybody where they feel any panentia so where I don't talk about, make clear well body work man they know one thing. Then go take him go na hospital and treat him. No pepper doctor am at all. If we all join hand for bring with people them na hospital where they sick or where we see them sign here so we go able for tap Ebola. No wait till you good person die. Let we work with the well body ministry for tap Ebola. Na two say Ebola day and na two say Ebola na bad bad sick. But we do all waiting and tell we for do now we village and we will tap them for make enough scatter. If he able work for we. It will work for you, and it will work for we all. Have you been wondering or thinking where to get quality cleaning and pest control services with 